morning, welcome to my online super seniors stroke gentle exercise workout today. We have a combination class, so we'll do a little bit of movement to music to raise your heart rate, to mobilize your joints, along with a little bit of strength work as well. The whole workout should take about 30 minutes. It's multi-level, so for those of you that need to go a little bit harder, there will be options. For those of you that need to just pull back a little bit, then of course there'll be all of those choices there for you. If you have any injuries, medical conditions, underlying health issues, you will need to get clearance from a medical practitioner before you do the workout, or you will have needed someone to say that it is okay and safe for you to exercise. So thank you for joining me and enjoy. Let's put a little bit of music on, there we go. So the first thing I want you to do is just come in for a little march and a shoulder roll and back. Again, so we breathe in as you bring your shoulders up, breathe out as you push them down. You can tell I've got these shoes before lockdown, can't you? I think they've been outside about twice. <laughs> these are these summer trainers. I can hope, can't I? One can live in hope. One more time. And then we just take head turn. For some of you, you might just need the touch point for that. And again. So I've just got my balance point just to keep you steady while I'm in a little bit of movement, moving it. Yes. Brilliant. And now I take a step to the side. So step, tap, step, tap. So I'm starting small with the movement, shoulders are relaxed, and I take a reach and pull. So I start to activate the muscles in my arms a little and mobilize the shoulders. Fantastic, you guys stay with that. Hello Janice, how are you? Everyone, my dad's on, which means my mum's on. Hello mum. <laughs> my lovely mum and dad. All right, so now, Bicep curl, lift and lower. My mum um, did uh, the cardio tone session that we did yesterday, which is pretty fierce, I have to say. So my dad's arms will be aching because he just hold, held the iPad through the whole thing. And mum, I'm surprised you can move this morning. I'm a bit sore. So we go eight more right here. So we're just taking small steps, yes. Well, I like to think of this workout as the, the morning after. <laughs> the morning after the day before. Relax the arms, we just take a shoulder roll. So just mobilising. <laughs> the ages if we want to do this. <laughs> Alright, now we take a walk to me. So you walk forwards and then hold with a march. Now you back it up. So for some of you, again, you might just want to have a chair nearby, particularly when you're going back. Others, you won't need that. Others, you're going to be coming all the way forward. Hello! And march. And then you go all the way back. And march. Yes. So we go all the way forward. So it's as big or as small as you need it to be for you, okay? Lovely. Now we're going for heel tap. So I go heel, heel. So again, I'm just doing lots of mobility around my ankle for some of you. Again, just a balance point. It's up to you. You know your bodies. So right here, if you feel comfortable with that, you can take the arms out and back. So I get out and back, which is a little bit like... <laughs> out and back. Out and back. Brilliant. And now a step tap. So I step tap. So with this class, it's not a choreography class, it's just, you know what, it's 9.30 in the morning, I just want to make my body move, I want to feel good. So don't worry about the left, right, it's not important. So we just take that step, yes. So you can either stay as you are, or you can take a little step behind. So what I'm doing is I'm just lengthening through the hips a little. Now for some of you, that tap behind might feel uncomfortable, so you just stay with what you've got. Now I'll pull my elbows back, push and in, push and in. So each time I tap back, I'm lengthening through the hips, and each time I push back with the arms, I'm just waking up my triceps. 
In fact, let's face it, if, you, if you're in my world, 9.30 is the new 6.30. So it's not just about waking up your triceps, it's not just about waking up your hips, it's just about waking up. Let me tell you, I'm not joking. We've got eight more. Has anybody else started going to bed much later and getting up later? <sighs> it's like being retired. I look forward to it. <laughs> All right, let's go again. So walk to me. So we walk and we take a march. Beautiful. And then we walk back. And again, for some of you, it might be much smaller. It might almost just be a march on the spot, yes? And back. But look, if you want to go a little bit further, so you walk to me. Push. 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 Then you walk back. Be careful on the way back. Try not to kill the cat. <laughs> yeah. We go again, so we walk it forward, push. So I'm just getting a little bit bigger with everything now, getting that heart rate up, and then we take it back. And then the same again, I'll push. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and then I want you to come to a pause. So again, you can use the side of the balance if you want to. And you're going to lean forward and feel a stretch through the back of the leg. Fantastic, change sides. <laughs> talking about stepping back in here, squashing the cat. When I had my dog, he was a really quiet dog. And whenever you're in the kitchen, two choices on this. You can either this way or this way. Whenever, whenever you're in the kitchen, you used to hover behind. And after 16 years, whenever you were prepping food, you took one step back and you nearly squash it. You just very quietly hover behind you, waiting for you to drop something. Remember the alternative is this way. Okay, so this next stretch, I'm going to stretch you the calf. And again, you might just want to use a touch point or if you're comfortable this way. There. And then we change sides. So we take the opposite leg back. So again, touch point. Or if you're comfortable, take the hands behind you. So grab a drink of water. Make sure that if you're going to use hand weights or tins, you've got those nearby, and we go back for a march. So this time round, the warm-up was exactly that, it was just prepping the body. So this time round, we're going much bigger with everything. Four, three, I'm surprised you can't hear my clod hoppers. They're huge. Step, touch. <laughs> they're, they're, they're new trainers, so they're not really broken in, and they're leather, so they're quite heavy. So I feel like, it's a good job I don't, I'm not doing this in the flat person below me would not be happy. So I'm just going a little bit bigger with this. Yeah. Beautiful. So for some of you, you'll be going much more vigorously. For others, you just want to pull back a little bit. Now we're going to change that. We've got two steps. So we go two and back. Yes. Two and back. Keep going. For some of you, you may be doing that just with the chair in front. So you can still go two, and back, yes. Two, up to you. Stay with that. So we go two, and back. So I'm gonna give you some choices now. For some of you, this will be perfectly fine. For others, all of that sideways movement might catch your hips. So here's your change. Now it doesn't matter which one of those you do, because they're both raising the heart rate. But this one, is a little bit more of a natural movement, so it's going to be kinder to your hips. Now, if you wanted to go bigger, you'd be pushing the hands up a little bit higher. Yep. And all of those disco kings and queens, <laughs> up to you. <laughs> you decide. <laughs> you choose. Some of you will be here with me. <laughs> I'm sorry, babes, you've got another 20 odd minutes of this. What can I say? <laughs> Brilliant. Again, four, three, two, march. So you take your weights, your tins, your balls, anything you like. Elbows under, lift and lower, lift and lower. So I'm gonna keep my legs moving a little bit. Now you might find with some of you, that's a little bit much. So I don't mind, try and tap your toes. The reason I don't want you to stand still completely is if your heart rate was quite elevated, you can get a little bit giddy. So all we're doing is just working through the front of the arms and it's a breath out on each 
lift. Some of you may find that when you get to the weights, you might want to sit down, but if you do sit down, I want you to keep your feet moving. So it's either a march or a tap of the toes, yes? Again, so you're breathing out each time you bring those hands up towards you. Now for some of you that have been on foot up, as we go a bit bigger, we're going to scoot to the front and back. So now I'm starting to work into my shoulders a little bit more and into the triceps, the back of the arms a little bit more. Yeah, so we stay with this. You've just got 99 to go. Or eight, what do you reckon? <laughs> the latter, yes. We go again. So you take it a lift and a lower. Okay, so if you tie, take some water. If not, we've got four more repetitions. So you might be here. You might be here. <laughs> or if you like me, you might not be here at all. <laughs> One more time. Yay! And release. So grab some water. And then we're going to take this into a forward, forward, back. Forward, forward, back. Forward, forward, back. So I'm going to give you a couple of variations. For some of you, this might just be a little bit too much. So you just step forward, you step back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Okay, so here's how I'm going to put flavour on it. So if I wanted to go athletic, it's called a box step. It's more like a V, isn't it? So it's just out, out and back, back. Out, out. And then I could use my arms a little bit more. But if you still want a bit more intensity, you could just add in your tinge your weights. Yes, yeah, so you're physically moving more weight. If you just wanted to just take the pressure off the hips a little, it's just a step forward and back. Now the good news is, I can't see you. You can do anything you like as long as it's safe. As long as it's effective and as long as it's legal, you can be moving your body however you want right now. But if you're doing something that's not legal, don't send me the screenshots. I don't need to know. Eight more right here. Eight. Yes. Seven. Oh, yeah, I was telling you about my dog, wasn't I? Yes. So my dog, will very quietly, when you're chopping things, he just just tap the back of your leg with his nose just to let you know it's there. But it's so easy to forget about him. <laughs> Go backwards. All right, we've got four more, then we're changing sides. Four, three, two, and now we change legs. So I go forward and back. So that one is a little bit kinder on hips. Some of you just might like a little bit of a cheeky mambo, it's up to you. Yes, so you can make that bigger right here. Some of you might be using the chair for a bit of support. If you want to go more athletic here, and again, some of you might want to have those weights in. I tell you what, I wish I'd started weeks ago. And um, I get lots and lots and lots of nice messages, really super nice messages and pictures. And a lot of people have pets, so when they're doing the stuff on screen like you guys are, there's normally dogs, cats. Yeah, I think someone had a gerbil as well at one point. Everywhere. <laughs> And there's so many screenshots, and you know, that for me, when someone sends me a message, that's for me, right? I don't like to, unless unless it's funny. I don't like to really share it with the world. But I wish I I wish I'd kept them all and collated them, and just did a lockdown pets do fitness montage. Some of them were amazing. I can't tell you. Two more, two more. Brilliant. And now you're going to grab your weights. Grab some water too. So I'm going to start with the first exercise and I'll give you a little more challenge. So I'm going to keep the legs moving. I might want to sit down, just like I did before. The shoulders are back, so this works your posture muscles. So I squeeze, release, squeeze, release. So it's a breath out each time you pull the elbows back. Now I feel that you're pulling your shoulder blades down as you do that. So some of you, you'll be comfortable enough to stand still, but remember if your toes start to tingle, if you feel a bit giddy, that's a really good indication you need to keep your legs moving. So I pull back, really. It's a breath out each time I pull back. Yay folks, the sun's out. It's a watery sun, but the sun's out. Shoulders are back and down. So we'll keep doing this for a little while. So we're targeting the muscles at the back of the body. 
So for some of you, when I show you what comes next, you may just want to keep going with this. So I'm going to now the target the muscle to the back of the arm. So I push, release. Can you see the difference? I'm not moving at the shoulders at all. Yeah, so there's the first one, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Here I'm squeezing through the back of my arm. Now the reason that I've given you two options, for some of you, when you take the elbows back, you might feel discomfort around your neck. So if, if your shoulders come up like this, I prefer you to go with this, that would be more beneficial. But if you can keep those shoulders down, push, release. Push, release. Breath out on each push. Brilliant. Again. Four. Three. Do you know what? As it's you lot, it's the right more. Eight. <laughs> Seven. Yeah. Six. Five. Four more, four more, four. Yes, yes. Three. Two. And release. Grab some water. So this next exercise, heart rate time. So for some of you, we're going to go heel, heel. And again, you might just want a little bit of support there. So here, there's your option one. Option two, you just take that into a kick. Now if you're doing a kick, it tends to work, rather than just kicking straight forward, Knees don't tend to like that, so biomechanically it's a little bit easier just to keep on an angle and just to keep the knees a little bit bent so you're not stiff through those joints, yeah? Shoulders back, beautiful. So then if you wanted to go harder, now you might want to go harder but you might find the music beats just a little bit racy. Not racy, it's definitely not racy, <laughs> but racy. So you can slow down. Some of you will keep going with that. And then others, which is most of you that are on today, you'll want to go a little bit bigger with that. Yes. Brilliant. So if you tend to get cramps in your thighs, you might find that you don't want to do too many of these, that that one might be a little bit easier to do for you. Yes, there we go. Lift, lift. Yay! If you wanted to go harder, we would go punch, 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 punch. Yes. Great. So, the lowest, a little bit higher. A little bit higher, but you can go slower. Higher in time. I know some of you are, that might just, yes, I know you're there. <laughs> so, Let's go for eight more, eight more, eight. Whose hips are starting to feel really achy? Yes, yeah, so if they do, I'd like you to come back down to this. If you're starting to feel it there, that's enough for you. Yeah. All right, here we go. So now we scoop. So we go scoop and back. Yes. So we'll just really see those hips a little. Lovely. So the next exercise, which is our last bit of cardio, right here, we step tap. So do you remember in a warm up, we just, we, it's, we're taking a sideways movement, but we're just taking that foot behind. So there's your option one. Option two, I'm bringing the heel up towards the foot. Some of you may need to slow down on that, yeah. So if you feel each time you bring your heel back a little bit of a pull through the front of the thigh, don't worry because what you're doing, you're working your hamstrings, so you're working the muscles in the back of the leg, but you're also stretching the muscles through the front, yeah? And then for some of you, and then for some of you, yay! So this is your last little bit of cardio. Again, you might find with the hamstrings that for some of you that just gets too, it almost feels like it's gonna cramp. So that's too much. So that's when you go back to just two steps to the side. Yeah. Okay, so we go for two sets of eight. So this is where you go for it. Seven. So if you wanna go bigger, that's where you go much larger. Four more on this set for four. Yes, three. Okay, here it comes. Last day, show me, show me, eight. Yes, seven, good, good, six, five, four more for you, four to go, three, two, brilliant, walk to me, march, go away, <laughs> and march, walk to me, and 
march. Take it away. And march. We just do two more of those. Come to me. And march. Take it away. And march. One more set. Come to me. And march. Take it away. And march. Brilliant. Now back into heel dips. So I'm going to do a little bit of strength work for your legs. Easy through hard. Wait, that will go in there and let me rewind that. Let me rewind that. Yes, we are going to do that. I want to do some shoulder work too, actually. So, just coming for a march. So, with the shoulder work, I'm going to push overhead. So, here's what I recommend. If you get problems with your shoulders and your neck, let's face it, you, there's at times in life you have to push overhead, right? To get things off the shelf, to get things out of the cupboard. So I would say any neck or shoulder problems, just go gently for the mobility and, and push slightly forward. Yeah? If you've got weak shoulders, then you can come for the full exercise. And if you've got no shoulder problems at all, then I would grab your bits and bobs. So right here, I push up and back, yes? So I breathe out as I push, breathe in on the way down. So let me just show you from the side. So the, 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 the weights or objects <laughs> should be just slightly in front of the head. So where should you feel that? Keep going for me. So you should feel it through the shoulder, the triceps is an assisting muscle in the exercise. Where you shouldn't feel it, you shouldn't feel it through the necks. Necks, <laughs> if you've got more than one head, you should feel it in your necks. And you shouldn't feel it through the traps. If you do, just come back for some shoulder rolls. Because we've got eight more, which is quite a big ask for some. Okay, here we go. Eight, seven, now you can stand still for these last few. Six, five, four, three, just the two to go, two, and the last one, brilliant. So the weights go to one side, and now I'm going to show you easiest through to hardest leg work. So easiest, you're going to lift the knee and lower, but I want you to keep your back really straight. If you want to make that a little bit harder, You've got no support there. Harder, you're going to take the feet outside the pit width. You're going to use your chair for balance. Make sure it's secure. And you're going to end up lying on your back with a chair on top of you. It's not a good way to start a Wednesday morning. And I'm just pushing my way back. So those of you maybe that have had knee replacements, those of you that have got joint issues, or maybe you've not got much flexibility in your ankles, you'll just come down a little way, yeah? And then others, you're going to come down much deeper, but you'll just use the chair to help push up. Others, right here. So the back side goes out behind you, and then if you want it to go harder, it's going to start, and I want you to feel the back of the legs at the edge of the chair. And you push, tap down, sit down, push. Now if you want to make that harder, you're just tapping the chair, with the back of your thighs. That's not easy. By anybody's standards, that's not easy. Yeah? So, we're gonna keep going just for another eight counts. So I go eight, and lift, yes? Seven, and lift. All your choices. Six, and lift. Five, if you're doing a harder version, you're double timing. Four, three, two, and one. And up you come, one seven. And let's just have a little march, it's just loosen up with those legs. Well done team, so we'll just take you into a little bit more mobility and the stretches. Please don't think that these are important and just go, right, job done and get a cup of tea, yeah? Because especially if you don't do like massive amounts of exercise, keep going for shoulder rolls, the muscles can shorten, 
So if you don't just lengthen them back to how they were before we started, you might be doing just something one day and you get a little bit of a tweak. So no one likes a tweak. And now just stand still, just take the head to one side, push the hands down to feel a real nice stretch through the neck into the shoulder. A lot of you, the shoulder will want to come with you. Push that down. Yes. Bring the head up, change sides. So shoulders are back and down and you're feeling that stretch through the neck into the top of the shoulder. That's great. And now take the hands behind you. Now pulling the hands back, make sure chin come forward this way. Well, for some of you, and I want you to modify that. Just take your hands to your hips and pull your shoulders back. Can I just say that that only works if you put your hands on your own hips? Okay, for the couples that are working out there, it doesn't work out. Okay, so now stretching through the back of the arm. So for some of you, that will probably be as far as your sides and your triceps will allow you to go. But if you're trying to get a stretch here, some of you will feel it through the lats. So don't be surprised. Here's the target area. Don't be surprised if you feel it there. And then we change. So again, feeling that stretch in the back of the arm. If you feel it in the neck, just lower the elbow. Loosen up through the shoulders again, and then you're going to take one leg forward, draw the toes back, then stretch in the back of the leg. Some of you drawing those toes back might be a bit aggressive, so you keep the toes down, and then we change. So next stretch is a calf stretch, just like we did at the beginning. Doesn't matter if you can't get the heel down to the floor, some of you won't, but you're encouraging that back heel down. And then this way. And then change legs. So take the opposite leg back, and then shoulders back and down. Yeah. So your options for this final stretch, this way, or extend the leg out behind but pull back slightly. Top tip, squeeze your bottom and you'll get a bigger stretch. Again, it only works if you squeeze your own bum. Sorry. Tried it the other way, it didn't work. Change sides. So, this way, this way, squeeze your And then I'd like you to come for a march, take a deep breath in, and breathe out, and shake it out. Well done team, great job. If you like the workout, 